back to the CCC. We're here at the Cave Smoke Shop in San Mateo. I'm gonna talk to Blake real quick and get a little update on the stock that they got here. If you guys haven't been here before, definitely check it out. Cave Smoke Shop, San Mateo. How's it going, Blake? How's it going, man? Yeah, set up a little lineup with some of our newer stuff to show you guys. Um, just some of our favorite products that we've been carrying, moving, helping people get into their collections recently. Um, Gonna start with one of our favorites, uh, Luke Wilson. Pretty amazing artist. He's been blowing glass for quite a long time. He's known as one of the kings of tree perks, but he's definitely been up to a lot of different stuff lately. Um, you know, with the advent of brands like Mothership sort of pushing artists to take things to another level, we're starting to things, see things like this, the Christ Perk Recycler, the Swiss Tree Recycler, just guys trying to, you know, push the capabilities of what they can do in the designs and, you know, getting really awesome results on the function as well. Uh, Luke's also making these little mini incyclers lately. They've been a really popular item, especially the clear ones that are just at about a $200 price. But quite thick, really nice, well made, yeah, you know, really clean. We just water tested those, they got a nice little yeah. chug on them. Yeah, I just ordered some of these here actually too, the inverted 10 on. Yeah, those are a killer one too. Yeah, they've been killing it with the tree perks forever, but forever. it's yep. cool to see yep. some, some new designs from them as well. We might yep. pick one of those up today. He keeps us fresh, so clear, and the color ones. Here. We sell out of these orders Illuminati pretty much there. within the month of getting them, usually. So we got to debut them a lot. I really like the Encyclopedia. Yeah, it's got an UV on this one, on too. This one. A little yeah. Illuminati there. Yeah, Luke's a cool guy. He's been in the industry for a while. His brother Ben's been in the industry for a while. We've carried both of their glass and continue to do it for sure. Um, definitely check them out. We have some of their work on our site. We'll have some more going up soon. Uh, C2 Custom Creations, a SoCal brand. Uh, we've been carrying them for a little while now. We really like these guys because all their pieces are super thick, really well made, very nice functioning. They're, they're, they're a great way to get into that higher end scientific design at a bit, little bit lower price point. At 150 these bubblers have just been kind of flying. They're big brothers, a little bit more, also been really popular. The $250 uh, larger tubes that we have here and the $300 bigger brothers uh, basically is a shower head to a ratchet disc. Gives amazing function and it's just a real awesome kind of piece to have in the house where you have a lot of roommates wanting to share a piece and don't want something. That could be you know, a good flower right there. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Awesome I think it just stacks. Big river. Yeah. So these guys are pretty killer. Also, over here, we have Hi Sai. They've been carrying these guys for a while. A lot of people know them for their shower head stems and multi hole bowls. Uh, a little while ago, they started coming out with these geyser perks. Um, just a ton of diffusion. And, you know, for people that want some piece where it's like sort of like, you know, some of the frit perks and other pieces that you've seen out there, but still enough flow to get flavor, it's a really nice balance. That's a stacker. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, really cool pieces. This little bubbler they do stacks all the way up to the mouthpiece. So really, really nice designs. It's cool to see that you know brands that have been around for a while constantly trying to do new things. Is this removed? Oh, yeah. yep. Those can be dangerous right there. <laughs> yeah, they can, but at the same time, for a piece like this, clips. it makes it very portable. Yeah, yeah it's the 2010 VC to one of those. You can get, yeah, you can get the <laughs> clips to hold them in yep. And then a mainstay in our store, we've been carrying US tubes for over, so since we opened, since, since they started too. Yeah. Um, these these are thick. Yeah, they have always been the toughest tubes in the industry. And look at how thick out. the glass is on the base. It's probably required a piece of tubing that was about this long to condense down into a base like that. Yeah. Besides that, their joints are also the thickest out there. This is the thickest one they do, the yeah. nine mil tank joint. Mm -hmm. um, and everything scales. You go down to a seven mil piece, you still get a really thick base and a thick joint. It's just when you go up to these nine mils, you start going to like baseball bat quality. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they even have a special kiln. It's a lot bigger than most kilns. It takes a lot longer for the pieces yeah. to cool in them. It allows the molecules to densify as much as possible. So it, the annealing that they do is kind of unmatched in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find other videos around YouTube of people banging these against other pieces, even using one to like chuck out holes in drywall. You know, they are tough. <laughs> I personally had one fall over on concrete like 10 times. All it ever broke was the bowl. So really good investment. You guys um, are clumsy, breaking your bongs. This is this is what you're looking for. Yeah. They also started doing a little mini tube that's been 
you know, not so much a main tube, a smaller tube that's been very popular as a nice flip piece. You know, you can use it for dry and for like a dab setup as well. And then one of our own local friends, Bill, actually, who you can probably find in some old CCC videos, he actually designed this little mini tube with US tubes, and these things are rippers. They function really well. They have that same durability. They use four mil tubing, which is quite thick for a smaller mini tube like this. And they've been doing them, you know, direct inject removable stem with the dome, but then I gave them a new update recently. And now, he's doing them with a 10 to 14 bushing down stem, ready for a nice banger to just throw right in there and get to work. So. Excellent, excellent little tube, great start tube, especially at the 150, 125 price point that they're starting at. We love the bangers. Yep. Also US tubes, they just start doing this with their percolator, which is really cool. They're doing sort of a, a bubble around each perk, which will improve the quality of the percolation. Mm -hmm. Also just gives them a really unique look, definitely something to stand out from the yeah. rest of the pieces out there. I can Better see. than just a straight tube. Exactly, and then even with these bubbles, they're still thick, you know, still all thick. They're percolated pieces, you know, they, they'll, they'll be around the same price. You'll go a little bit thinner on the tubing, but then you get the perk as well and still get a very nice, durable, all around great tube. Yeah. All right, so. Yes. Now this, this one's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, this is Mobius Glass from uh, Morro Bay, just west of San Luis Obispo, California. Pretty sure we have one of these, right? Oh yeah, you guys had an eye on I remember. Yeah. And uh, this guy, uh, the guy behind this studio, his name's Circle. He puts he goes in hard, the work. Man. He goes hard. This guy's modeling stuff on AutoCAD before he's blowing it. He's got an engineering mind. The function of all of his pieces is excellent. The build quality of all of his pieces is excellent. And most importantly, He's creative. He's constantly coming out with new designs, new concepts, just really sick stuff. We've been carrying his stereo matrix for about four or five years. It's always been a big seller. But even his bubblers, the, his entry level $300 nuke bubbler, mm -hmm. they fly off the shelves. And its big brother, the Atom, is one of the most beautiful production bubblers ever made. And we actually got a treat that we just got in, which is one of the uh, new color edition Atom bubblers. This one's all in Illuminati. We'll make sure to uh, mix in a shot with it with the UV light hitting it as well. Amazing function, amazing design on these things for sure. He actually, just when we did a show with him last year, brought nine new models to market and he's currently working on another nearly ten models to bring to. So he does not get stale and at the same time he continues to produce all the models he's made just about for us. So you have a huge library to select from if you want to become a Mobius collector. So. Yeah, and he's kind of came up with so many different perks over the last couple of years that have kind of led to more innovations and more different designs. So exactly. you could, you could kind of take his 10, 15 different designs he's come out with recently and look at 10 or 15 more that kind of branched off of those, you know? Exactly, exactly. Like, even case in point, his fourth perk later that everyone's been waiting for for a long time, which is called the Polygon perk, it's a hand-bridged perk, solid rod. Uh, this is a special edition one that he did in Lemon Drop. Mm -hmm. But literally, all these little kind of balls that are created they look like in here. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but basically, they do have little butt, belly button holes in between them oh. that create a roundish kind of rib that's different than anything else. Yeah. And this one looks a little odd in the color, but when he made a 23 arm variant of it, we first mistook it for the old Matrix percolator, but it has a totally different hit. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was just chugging that one. It's I like it. It's got the high flow diffusion that you're used to with Mobius, but a little bit more of a chug, a little bit more of a kind of a round rip to it than you're used to, which is really neat. So both of these have been excellent. And people have loved this scope model so much that he just most recently, he got the sort of just a couple days ago, put the most popular Matrix perk in the scope. So this is a killer combo right here for sure. Yeah, definitely goes hard. Yep. And over here, we got our good old Illadelph, always been a great brand for us. Uh, lately, forever. they've been going to this new micro series where they're doing smaller beakers, uh, which is cool because with the advent of dabbing and everything, this is, makes a really great flip piece. Yeah. Great herbal piece, throw a nail on it, still a great dab piece for the size. Mm -hmm. It also allowed them to shrink down their coils and bring them down to a lower price point than they've ever really been before, while yeah. still giving you that, like, that, you know, high drag but high high cooling diffusion setup that works quite well you know good classic you haven't seen one of these before folks this coil up top is full of glycerin and when you put it in your freezer the glycerin freezes solid like an ice pack right. and then when you smoke on it the smoke twirls through the glycerin coil and it gets you know basically coil condensed and cooled uh, it allows you to cool your smoke without adding the moisture from ice cubes into it which is really cool yeah that's awesome and Still we also just got these that's new actually that's pretty cool function you know 
Oh, oh yeah. With all this heady glass, people kind of forget about the function sometimes. Yeah, we, we definitely see that. You know, we see heady artists that also have very good function in their pieces. But yeah. All in all, we'll have a customer that's about to spend five hundred dollars on an art piece, and then they'll be like, "Well, this is like my only piece." And then we'll be like, "Well, if this is your daily driver, you might want something with a little bit more, you know, enjoyable diffusion on it." it really depends. If you're a strictly dabber, usually two holes in the water is yeah. plenty for most. Yeah, so. trying to keep the flavor. We have been longtime fans of Toro. We have uh, worked very hard to carry their glass over the last years. Our relationship has gotten nothing but better over the years, and now we're really proud to say that we're going to be doing a Toro show towards the end of 2016, uh, which is something I think the Bay Area is long overdue for. We have a lot of Toro fans out here. They'll really appreciate their work. Toro has constantly been improving the quality of his designs and the quality of the pieces themselves. The, the feet have gotten much thicker, the mouthpiece, overall the pieces have gotten thicker, more squared off, more angular, more perfect, more clean. He's kind of responded to the gauntlet thrown down by some of the higher end studios like Mothership that are, you know, sort of creating a collector base that demands just the best quality that you can put into your work. So we're seeing, you know, what someone who has employed a great team for quite a while has been able to take them to the level of, which is excellent. We'll continually love carrying their products. You know, their traditional macro is still arguably one of the best daily driving little yeah, concentrate rigs yeah, out there, for sure. you know. And uh, they also have a new nail out called the Toro Grail. It's a uh, swing out, or basically a banger style nail. Uh, it's excellent, excellent nail. It's probably one of the best ones in the market. Definitely check that one out too. And then down here, we got one more brand off the wall I wanted to show you, and this is Ill Glass, Illusions These Glass. These are pretty cool. This is pretty much as high quality as you can get before you hit Mothership in the clear production world. Um, these guys are out of Colorado. They have not gotten into many shops because the first shop that carried them sold out of most of the orders as they were being made. Mm -hmm. So after a wait, we were able to start getting them last year and they've definitely been a hot commodity. Uh, even their entry level little guy, which is kind of a competitor with the entry levels from Mobius and Toro, has this great uh, percolator called the 50 watt and it basically is sealed to the back of the can. So you basically have a bridge on the front, on the back, down the back, Really excellent little design, really nice diffusion, yeah, especially for a little piece. It's a nice little traveler, diver rear. When they dropped this guy, this got a lot of attention. The Flux Tube and Flux Recycler, which literally uses a perk called the Flux Capacitor, inspired by the one from <laughs> everyone's favorite you know, time-traveling film series, yeah. which I always thought was very cool. Uh, the fusion on both the tube and the recycler is excellent. One thing I also thought was unique on their recycler is besides having the you know traditional drain on the side of this disc drain setup, they also have almost like an oversplash drain up top to help you know get any extra water that you might splash up. Yeah, that's cool. Back down into the piece. So redundancy. Really cool design. Really, really good function on all these. They do collaborations with some of the highest end artists in the world, and their collaborations are you know. You know, their elites are pretty much around mothership level, so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for another very high-end production brand out there like Mothership to get into. Definitely would check out Ill. This is their latest piece that they just came out with. It's an in-cycler mini tube called the Fusion V. I'm in love with it. It's yeah. a really beautiful design. It's got that like gridded waffle. I've always been a waffle fan. Yeah, it's this little gridded, this little gridded puck, kind of like waffle inspiration down here. It's really nice. It is slitted around the side, but gridded, so you know, it's definitely yeah. and definitely fixed towards the, the back side. again, which is a little yeah. different than you're used to seeing. Right. And it, it's actually really neat that the, your your vapor will come in through the joint and then go around the uh, pretty much the, the extension of the neck down. down into the perk, up and then into the you know return drains and back down again. So there's a lot of motion like. A continual river going on in here, like I've heard others uh, say about you know in cyclers, and I've always been a big, very big fan of these. And this new model is killer. So I got another treat to show you. Uh, these haven't really stayed in the store for very long after getting them so far. Uh, this is the new Brothership series uh, that was created by Mothership Glass this year. Um, it premiered at Age uh, 2016. We're one of the first shops to carry them. Uh, we're pretty excited to carry these. We have a long-standing relationship with Mothership. We did their first in-store show, actually the only one to date. Mm -hmm. um, and we've always just been massive fans of them. I mean, the studio's led by Scott Deppie, one of the greatest pipe makers out there. It's one of the largest studios in the world of high-end artists, and it's really building the next generation of glass workers. The Brothership line was them pretty much wanting to come out 
with something that was a little bit more affordable, right. uh, where people can get their designs closer to the original pricing that the original motherships came out at. Uh, the Fab Egg especially is an excellent functioner, but the Straight Fab, the Taurus, all of them are very, very close to the original motherships in terms of function. And the build quality on them is excellent. You know, there's a lot of people that have been capitalizing off of motherships' hard work and designs. And I'm actually kind of proud that they were able to put something out that, you know... Is affordable. You know, that's affordable. That, that you don't have to go spend $1,000 on a knockoff fab egg. You can go spend $1,000 on a real fab egg that's from the people that designed it. Just right. in a more affordable brand. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've been seeing lots of different responses online. All I can say is, you know, while we have them in the shop, come to the store, check them out for yourself. You know, you can water test them and everything. Yeah. Sitting what's next that? to them. <laughs> what's this little guy right here? And this little guy is something pretty special for sure. Mothership had a private dinner at the beginning of January this year uh, where they invited their closest collectors to come and pretty much buy and bid on some of the most amazing pieces that they've made to date. This by far is one of the most amazing pieces they've yeah, made to date. Thing's awesome. This piece was made by Scott Deppy and it's not a Fab Klein Taurus, this is a Ball Klein Taurus. If you look at the can here, you basically have a stem going in and, and down. You don't have the Fabergé holes here. Right. This is sort of like if a Fab Klein Taurus were reimagined for dabbing, this would be the ultimate piece for that. Yeah. Now, besides just the basic, you know, beauty of it as it is, this guy is fully fauceted head to toe. The mouthpiece, the Maria's, the joint, the internal balls and drains, and then a diamond down here that was probably fauceted out of a much, much larger marble of Illuminati. The entire piece is in UV reactive Illuminati. Once again, we'll get you some cool shots of that together a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but the faucet work, what makes this piece especially amazing, is all the faucet work on here was done by Scott Deppie's 17-year-old son. Oh, the wow. first mothership piece for him to put his hands on. Um, this piece was bought at that private dinner last month, uh, not by us, by one of our best customers, a uh, really awesome collector who decided, you know, in exchange for us, helping him pick this piece up, he let us display it for a little while in our store. So uh, if you're seeing this video within, you know, a few weeks of it going up, it's probably still on display. This piece is pretty much one of the sickest pieces ever made. Come check it out, for sure. Yeah, that thing's awesome. Thank you guys for coming in today. Uh, always a pleasure, you know. Me and the CCC actually go way back oh, yeah. quite a few years. We are old homies. We appreciate, um, we appreciate you letting us in here. Oh yeah, you guys are always welcome. Anytime you're you know, into visiting us out here in Cali again, we'd be happy to have you. You used, um, used to get out here every couple of months and you guys always had new glass. So yeah. when I don't get out here in a couple of years, it's a lot of new glass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little bit too much to record for yeah. now, but definitely check out our Instagram. It's The Cave Smoke Shop on Instagram. Our website as well, thecavesmokeshop.com, where we have our online store. Uh, at both locations, Instagram and the website, we'll keep you posted about upcoming events. Uh, we do lots of artists in store events. And for this year, definitely keep an eye out. We're going to be doing Coil, AKM, Rhino, Nate Myers, and Toro. And we might even have a couple more surprises in for the year as well. So definitely please come and check us out. Oh, yeah. We are happy to show you through this entire gorgeous section, piece by piece, if you're interested in picking something up. Or if you just want to see what's going on with this amazing little art. Thank you, man. Yeah, Thanks, Blake. Sure. Come by anytime. Guys, come check out the cave here in San Mateo. Thanks for watching the CCC Fort Line.